Hello, I am Alan EJE of The Social Anomaly, and this is, we're going to do a quick playthrough, 20 minutes of uh, Child of Light. I've just had the beautiful joy of watching the Xbox One's graphics card kind of break over the game, which was always fun. I restarted the Xbox now and it's working, I've tested it, so that's nice. Uh, oh, look at the pretty Ubisoft logo, that's nice, that's nice. But you know, played this game a few times, I own this game on multiple consoles, purely by accident. Um, got it on the PS Vita first because I've got a PS Vita and a Vita TV, so it was nice to be able to say, I can play it at home. And I can also, you know, take it out and enjoy the same save file. And I got it on PC because um, it was cheap during Christmas. And uh, this game just came out on Xbox, a uh, game for Xbox Gold. So if you could grab it and play it on console, I can run this on best for recording, which is anything that I can use my capture card with, as much as I hate the thing. So, um, yeah, no, we're going to um, start a little game through. We're going to start from the beginning. If it will let me. Yes, new game. So I'm going to stay quiet for the cutscenes with the talking, that is. And I will again be doing a little bit of a, a casual for a while. So I'll let you guys enjoy the cutscene. Child, tuck yourself in bed. And let me tell a story of Lemuria, a long lost kingdom, and a girl born in the glory. In Austria was a crown land ruled by a duke. Aurora was his daughter, child of a duchess mysterious, beloved by her father. He raised the girl alone. They were rarely apart, till the duke felt lonely and misplaced his heart. It was the Great Friday before Easter, 1895. Players performed for the Duke, his new bride at his side. That night, Aurora went to sleep. The fire burned down low. She caught a chill that spread. Her skin was cold as snow. At dawn, they found her, vacant. Aurora's light gone out. Her father wept and pleaded, but there could be no doubt. For all intents and purposes, Aurora was dead. And yet, once upon a time, she awoke in a strange land. So this game is actually really pretty. I really like the art style. The UB art framework, which is what they use for this, Valiant Hearts, the Assassin's Creed trilogy they're making. I really like just the kind of art style that appeals to these 2.5D games. And uh, it, it looks really nice. I mean, Aurora is obviously really well animated. A lot of she very flows very well with her animations, and you can tell she's a very graceful princess sort of character. So I do in fact really like this game. The music is really nice as well. I actually went down. I bought the soundtrack last night just because of how pretty this game's music is. It's nice. It's nice. So when the uh, beginning scenes have ended, maybe there we go. Yeah, this is a nice pretty game. It's also a very it's a very family friendly game. I could very much easily play this or around or get or even buy this for my nieces and nephews. Not nieces and nephews, cousins. It's because my family calls them nieces and nephews. Wow, I'm not that old. It's because I'm technically a nephew. Um I could easily buy this for my cousins. I think they'd really enjoy this game. Because you know, they're also into princess and stuff, and this is technically Sleeping Beauty. Platforming's nice. Only thing is, you don't get straight into the battle combat straight away, which obviously is a huge part of this game. The menu system's really nice, though. Um, you can play two gate players. You get a second controller, and someone else can control the little fairy when we get it. Uh, th also, this very much looks nice in the dark as well. You can tell this is a dark forest. Aurora looks very kind of very well done for this. I do like how her model animations are, because if I like stop and like turn around, you like, you can very much, her hair flows really nicely. It's like always flowing almost, but also when she turns around you kind of can see her whole step and it is really pretty. And her jumping's really nice as well. No, wake up, wake up. Nightmare, let me wake. Also, the entire game is done in, like, rhyme, and I really like that. It's really cool. Papa, where are you? 
My heart shall break. Will someone please explain how water falls with no rain? Who spoke? I did. Shakes the truth from your eyes. Before mould grows, that's common sense. A firefly that speaks advice? My supper must have been too dense. Food sounds good, but I am lost. Ever heard of an aurora? Why, sir, she is me. Both sir and she, a split, an, a split aurora. Perhaps you are some kind of flora. <laughs> Cease your foolishness at once. I am Aurora, I am she. Oh, why didn't you say so? Follow me! A lady waits, hair long as a forest stream, with skin like moths and gleaming eyes. A seer shall, a seer, a seer shall know the way out of this dream. With the cute little thing. See, I can control him with the R stick as the only player. She's just going to come up now and say, yeah. But he'll also follow along, so I don't need to... Like, if he goes off screen, he'll, like, be almost pushed. And he's got a little AI on him as well. Oh, that's a... I get the feeling we get to fight that later. I've never got that far into the game. But it's cool. It looks cool. Oh, yeah, she's talking about the, um... These little things. Don't you know these are wishes? Wishes of light left in darkest night. Yeah, and you've also got to... Um, follow the orange one to find more. And then, yeah, we get the wishes, and then... They always go to the top right corner where the status information is, because it normally can heal up Aurora, and also heal up Ignis. Because he's got a little... He's actually very useful in this game. Um, for instance, now, you can see there are kind of these dark bits and um he glows because he's a little glow oh it's this one isn't it this button sorry yeah so you do this and then we gotta open this door by shining the special lights on and the door opens and then the music changes i like this music x Who is she? Who is she? I wonder. Remove the sword under. Who spoke? Some sort of ghost. The lady of the forest. I'm sure of this. X. Yeah, this game's been out for a while. It's been out for about a year now. I think it's over a year. But I very much love this game, and I've been meaning to do a video for it for ages, but I just don't ever have the time. Act slash... So yes, we'll slash this enemy. I'm going to try and fight all the enemies. And then the Firefly can actually heal you, which is nice. And we get the wishes on the side of the battlefield. We can get all those. I'm nearly level 2. Go out. Let's jump into the back of that enemy. Yeah, and you can slow foes with the um, firefly as well. So yeah, at that point he didn't even get to attack, which is nice when you're just taking them on one on one. But when you inevitably get more enemies. And Aurora's now got skill points. I normally go up here. Just because you know you can see her slash. But I kind of want to actually evolve her um, starlight ability. Do I have I don't know, more skill points? So yeah you can't get those yet. Which is sad but oh well. Because we need to be able to fly. Um... So we'll just land on this enemy. Um, slash. So then I'll do the damage. Oh wow, we can insta kill them there. That's cool. He 
healing tonic. Let's go for another. Oh, we got two now. Set that one down so then I can do that. Shield the firefly. Cool. I think I nearly got all of them there. That's cool. I like trying to get all the, uh, the lights. I'll check the magical points again in a sec. Damn it. Okay, he's actually probably gonna get an attack in. That's fine, it's not much damage. Yeah, he literally, he literally did nothing. So I'm just gonna use the Firefly to actually heal up Aurora. Magic potion! Oh, they're cool. These, these st stayed out then, so let's get the extra wishes. <laughs> the little message literally just stays there, that's kind of cool. Uh, and the extra wishes! Which heal her up. Um, so yes! It's very dark, but I don't need the light right now. I can really kind of see where I'm going. What time should we go up here? Oh, more enemies and e Keely. Damn it. Oh, well, I can grab those in a sec. It's very really kind of difficult to multitask, hold, flying this little thing around, and then also doing a lot of uh, Aurora's moves and stuff. But it gets easier as time goes on, especially when you get more party members as well. Damn it. Got to get them in order to get the extra wishes. Chapter 2, Queen of Light. Yeah, let's start this chapter. Or you could do that to enemies, which is kind of nice. Oh, that's sad. Um, get this enemy. Because these ones, and there's only one of them as well, is very effective to... Um, yes, we know how to interrupt enemies. That move, which does um, which pretty much kills them. So you can one hit KO those with uh, the Starlight move. So I'm actually going to see if I can upgrade it a little bit more. Um, cool. Um, you can't go up there right now. It's up here. Oh, because now you flip up here and then yeah. Take this thing on. Okay, we got two enemies here, so I'm actually gonna go and start like trying to get this one down in a sec. I'm gonna starlight on that. One. So yeah, let's just quickly get the healing up. Um. Cool. And I very like how awesome the animations are in the battles as well. Character kind of very well moves. Obviously, you really can't hold the sword properly. And we've got to get the um. Cool, we got the wishes that time. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna read this box. And there's quite a lot of nice platforming puzzles to this as well. And we've got to unlock the door by getting up there, which is fairly easy to do. For now... Um, let's move this block this way. 
I'm going to get this done. Might see if I can actually get the, the wings by the end of the episode. I mean, that's a nice stop ending point for the first episode, I think, for this. But she has to how quick we're getting through this. Uh, starlight on that, because I don't like those things. Oh, cool, he didn't even attack. No health lost. Nice. Come on, Aurora, we're nearly level 5. We need to get to level 8 by the end of this place, ideally. I'll actually be kind of on par with the rest of the characters we are going to get. That's going to tell us what to do. And kind of point it out. How on earth do we travel up high? I wish you could fly. Aurora, illuminate the oculi. Let me try. Uh, yeah, and then this comes down, and then... Oh, I've got to illuminate it again, haven't I? Then I come up here, X on this. The camera moves very well. It's, very, it's a very well programmed responsive camera, I feel, with this game. Then this can come down here. <laughs> um, so then I can get up here. Drag this one that way. Um, uh, let's see. Ah, it's up there. Cool. Uh, nice. We got all of them. See so if it's actually possible to. Yes, it is. Cool. You can actually jump out of each area. I can go and grab this. That's what I'm meant to do. Because I have inside knowledge of what we have to do next. Mahahaha. <laughs> because, no, really, I love this game. This game is fabulous. Because then um, we hold down this button here. Then, ah. Uh, fly out here. A little save. Oh, X. Hmm, I just want to go back in there quickly because there's a little bit extra that I missed. And we may as well try and do the extra stuff. And if I just got those. Okay, so that. Uh, I guess that's useful for a future thing, maybe? I don't know. An oculi! Um, yeah, add lightning and water to our sword. Oops. That was smart. Let's go this way. Yeah, X. Let's try and get out. Can't try and get all this done. Oh, that came out of nowhere. Hello. These guys are not going to be friendly. So we are going to starlight her. Because Starlight is like OP as hell and it's really nice because it does that. Castle Curse. Cool. Um, at slash slash and then I shoot damage him. Right. Hit my mic. Uh, slash. Damn, he is strong. 
Okay, she's damaged. Let's just kind of heal her up. Nice! He's dead. He dead. He dead. And we leveled up! Ah, uh, X. And now we go this way. Ah, yes, it's up here, isn't it? <sighs> here at last. Beware, a spell has been cast. I am imprisoned behind the... I am imprisoned behind the glass. So, what we do here is we get the little thing, and we have to do that. Take the first one, and there are three! We have to go over here and get her to control that. Which means that we then get the blue one. Shatters the blue glass. At last I'm nearly free. Cool. That's now done. Now we have a battle. Who dares challenge the Queen of the Knights? A tiny nothing with locks of red. Uh oh, now we fight. Um, sorry, I couldn't resist. Um, I'm gonna starlight. They're vulnerable to light. I'm gonna try and do as much damage as I can. They have 50 health. Um, Starlight. Decapitate. Uh, let's get you down. Cool. Um, ah, I can't cast it. Ah, can I use a potion? Yes, I have a magic potion! Yeah, now I get to cast. Okay, he's got slightly more health. Um, I act in defense. There, now his attack won't do him any damage. Oh, oh, he didn't do me any damage anyway. Um, so if we now cast. Yeah, he dead, he dead, he dead. Nice! And she's now leveled up to level 6. Oh, item found, magic stardust. Now she is free from the window and can help us with our quest to get home. Tell father we're okay. Lady, this is Aurora. Madame, sh snared am I in this dreamland. I am ready to wake up now. Child, a vision, take my hand. I think this next bit is voiced. Once the sun shone upon a land of sequined valleys and peaks of white. And at night, ruined castles glowed with alabaster light. From the stars in the crescent moon, a queen of light ruled this rambling place. Each night she walked the palace alone, her luminosity dawn's own face. Until one night there was no trace. The queen had vanished, and with her the light. Dark resided in its place. A usurper, Umbra, hid from sight. She sent her daughters in her stead, the sun, the stars, and the crescent moon, they pilfered from the sky, extinguished them with the monsoon. Then Umbra's dark creatures conquered the land, our lives soon snuffed out by a wave of her hand. Madame, thank you for the story, but now I wish to wake. 
So dull my speech, you fell asleep. What I speak is of real. What I speak of is real, not fake. All around us lies the land of Lemuria. I am afraid this is not a dream, Aurora. The only way is a magic link, a mirror behind the throne, stolen by Umbra, Queen of the Night, the sole path home. Is to banish the night, bring back the stars, the sun, the moon, the light. No, unacceptable, my father waits. The firefly said you'd, you'd help me pay post haste. I have a name, you know. Do not despair, my child, my dear. I created Igniculus to aid you. A bug the size of a pin? No good, I fear. Never shall I recover the sun, the stars, and the moon. Do not despair, my dear, for the sun and moon seek the highest and the lowest room. First go back from whence you came, past the altar of which you woke this day. For a tree of thorns and sharp and tangled, seek help along the way. And what of the stars? How will I reach the skies? Why, the, why, child, the answer lies above you. Open your eyes. Yeah, I can fly now. I'm a flying princess. I am majestic. Have I mentioned how much I love the animation in this game? Because it is beautiful. The UBR engine is so nice. Now listen carefully. Keep that charmed crown. Upon your brow, never remove it, clear? One last thing before I go. If you should ever despair, my dear. Thank you. What exactly does it do? Sorry, child. I cannot hear you. Goodbye. But wait, but I... Must know, my father. Is he alright? I'm surrounded by endless night. Aw, poor Aurora. So I can now fly. Uh, if we open our inventory, we now have the ordinary flute, a gift from the old lady. Um, let's just level up Aurora. I'm literally just gonna like try and push this tree out and then maybe work on the others. So that's light ray. Um, yeah, because those three were kind of already done, I guess. Yeah, because then I'll start from here and I went that way, yep. Uh, let's check my oculi. Oh, you can craft oculi, that's cool. We've only got a roar on our party, so I think we're gonna listen to this. Tree of Thorns will surely appear. So Firefly to the sky. So this lasted a little bit longer. I'm fully aware this was um, 20 minutes and not um, this 30 minutes, not 20. But nevertheless, um, if you'd like to see more of Child of Light, I'm literally going to stop here and then we can talk to her next time if you want to see more. Um, like, subscribe to Social Normally, and we will see you next time. So ciao for now.